As a cybersecurity professional, I can tell you there are some attitudes that would deter you or destroy your career. There are attitudes you must avoid that if you're not careful, they would cause you to have stunted growth. And in this video, we're going to be looking at that and how you can avoid it. All right? The attitude and practices you must avoid as a cybersecurity professional. I see this a lot in the industry, especially with newbies. You must address this attitude if you intend to make headway in cybersecurity. Now, here are the top 10 attitudes and practices to avoid as GRC professional. And when I mean GRC, what do I mean by that? Governance, risk management, and compliance professional. Here are 10 attitudes that you must avoid. Number one is complacency. You need to avoid becoming complacent or thinking cybersecurity threats are irrelevant to your organization. Always stay vigilant and stay relevant and proactive. Number two is ignoring regulations. This is up to 10 and I can tell you number 10 is the most important. Don't disregard or underestimate the importance of regulatory compliance. See, failing to comply with laws and standards can lead to serious consequences. Trust me. And number three is overlooking risk assessment. Neglecting to regularly assess and analyze cybersecurity risk can leave your organization vulnerable. Continuously evaluate potential threats if you want to stay relevant and if you want to avoid this pitfall. Right? Number four, which I think is also very important, is lack of communication. You need to avoid silos and poor communication with other departments and team members. As a GRC professional, you need to learn how to communicate effectively. Not only that, you need to effectively collaborate with other team members. All right? Effective collaboration is very, very important. It is very, very important for you to learn how to collaborate effectively as a GRC professional. And number five, which is also very important, is rigidity. You don't want to be rigid. Don't be overly rigid in your approach. Be adaptable, be approachable, and be open to new strategies and technologies as the threat landscape evolves. You guys know that there are new threats coming up every day. So you don't want to be rigid to the things that you know in the past. You want to stay open, all right? Let your mind be open to learning new things. You can learn anything from anywhere. And when I mean anywhere, from anyone as well, okay? And which leads to the number sixth one, which is failing to stay informed. Are you sure you're not in this category? Don't rely on outdated knowledge. Cyber threats are constantly changing. So is the landscape. So you need to stay informed about emerging risk and security best practices. With the way we have cyber threats changing, also we have security best practices improving as well. So you want to understand the threat and you want to understand the best practices. So you need to make sure that you stay informed, all right? And you can do this by subscribing to necessary or important podcasts, uh, uh, newsletter, um, even watching some YouTube videos and Google. Just make sure you do everything you can to stay informed. Okay, quick one. If you would like to earn multiple six figures in cybersecurity in 45 days, even without an IT degree or experience, if you would like to work from the comfort of your home, earning multiple six figures in cybersecurity in just 45 days, and I'm talking about $250,000 a year and above, I want you to click the link below to apply and schedule a destiny call with my team. If we find you a good fit, we will work with you to help you transition into multiple six figures in cybersecurity in just 45 days. Now, this is for serious and committed individuals who want to make a difference and earn multiple six figures in 45 days in cybersecurity. It is important to know that we have a 15% acceptance rate which means if we see you do not qualify, we will not work with you. We work with individuals who consider themselves as elite. If you're ready to change your story and move to the next level, click the link now and apply to book a destiny call with my team. 
and my team will meet you on the inside. Number seven pitfall that you need to avoid is blaming other people. You need to learn to take responsibility. Avoid a blame culture when incidents occur. When things happen, right, instead of you blaming people, don't. Instead, focus on learning from the mistakes and improving security measures. Trust me, one of the things that people look at in a professional and that speaks to the fact that you're going to be the best is when you learn to take responsibility and you learn not to blame other people for anything that happens. All right. Another thing is that you don't underestimate human error. This is a pitfall. Underestimating human error. Don't overlook the role of human error in cybersecurity incident. You need to provide training and awareness programs to reduce human related risk. This is very, very important. Like we can't stress this enough. Okay. And number nine is neglecting documentation. Neglecting documentation. Don't forget, I said I'm going to give you 10 attributes, right? And I'm going to also give you one more uh, bonus, all right? Avoid poor record keeping and documentation of security policies, incident and audits. Proper documentation is crucial for accountability and compliance. Trust me, it is very, very important. And number 10, which I said is very, very important, is overconfidence. That's number 10. Avoid being overly confident in your organization's security measures. Don't be overconfident because things happen, all right? Things happen that we do not know, okay? Even the most secure systems can have vulnerabilities. Continuously assess and improve the security of your organization, all right? These 10 are very important pitfalls to avoid. And let me give you one more bonus, which is the last one. Negligence or neglecting employee training. You didn't know that is coming, right? Don't neglect employee training. Don't assume that employees inherently know how to follow security protocols because they don't. They simply don't. So neglecting training and awareness program can lead to security breaches. So I hope you understand that these are top 11 pitfalls that affect GRC professionals. And I've just told you to avoid them so that you don't fall into them. Now, by avoiding this attitude and practices, you can enhance your effectiveness as a GRC professional and contribute to your organization's more robust and cybersecurity posture. And trust me, if you are there to this, you are on your way to the top and your organizations will also be blessed and they would even be happy to have you. And what does that mean for you? You're going to make more money from that. All right. If you've learned anything from this video, if you've gotten any value from this video, I want you to share, like, subscribe, and put a comment section below. I will see you on the next one. Thank you guys.